Hey, it's another Lil Wayne by just a little taste of this and that. I'm coming to you from my condo in uptown Chicago where I live. Um, I'm on lockdown like all the rest of us are, listening to what the city and the state is telling us what to do. But you know what? We all got to eat and uh, we all have pantries. So I thought it'd be interesting to go into my pantry and see what was there and come up with a recipe to share with you folks. But anyway, before we get started, just a reminder, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll get uh, more recipes, you'll get craft projects, restaurant reviews, even travel tips, all in the same spot. Just click on the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll always know when new videos are coming out. Now what I have in my pantry is I've got 12 ounces, I've got a lot of pasta actually, but I've got 12 ounces of pasta here. I've got a 28 ounce can of plum tomatoes. I've got some capers. I love capers a lot. I also have some Kalamata olives and I've got some artichoke hearts and then I've got tons of onions and garlic around the house as well. So here's what I'm going to do. Before I get started, I'm going to get my pasta water ready. I'm going to fill up a pot with water, put it on the range there, get it going. I'll eventually put a little salt in there as well. I'm not going to put the pasta in just yet. And now with my dish here, I'm going to start off with a large pan. I've got two tablespoons of olive oil in there. I'm going to put in my onions. It's about a medium onion that I chopped up. Saute that until the onions are nice and translucent. Then I'm going to add some garlic. I got four cloves of garlic. I'm here by myself. Lots of garlic. <laughs> Saute that for a little bit as well. And then with my plum tomatoes, I'm going to separate the plum tomatoes from the actual juices for a moment. I'm going to break up the tomatoes with my hands and then I'm going to put both of those back into the pan afterwards. And saute those as well until they get nice and tender. And then I'm going to add in my artichoke hearts. So it's about a six ounce jar of artichoke hearts go in there. Then I'm going to add my Kalamala olives. I've got about a fourth of a cup of Kalamala olives that I've chopped up. And then I'm actually going to season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. And now I'm going to take the pasta and put it in. That takes about nine minutes to cook. While it's cooking, I'll just let my sauce here simmer a little bit. And just before the pasta is ready, I'm going to add in my capers. I'll reserve about a cup of that pasta water, and then I'll put the actual pasta down and drain it. And I'll add it to my dish just like this. And if you need the sauce to be thinner, you can pour the pasta water in right here. Mine looks fine. I don't think I need it. And then here we are, all coming together, nice and gorgeous. I'm going to plate this up. I've never learned how to do that swirly thing that great chefs know how to do at restaurants, but I will put it on here and it'll still look good because I'm the one who's going to appreciate it. Here you go, just like that. Gorgeous. And if you have some uh, Parmesan cheese in the house, that's actually great as well. And I just happen to have that. Boom, 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 boom. Gorgeous. Anyway, if you don't have all these ingredients or those aren't your things for the most part, there's some other things you can do. Rather than putting those jarred items in there, you can actually use tuna. Tuna is a great little alternative as well. Just drain that and toss that in just before you're ready to serve everything up. You also can use proteins. You can use a frozen shrimp if you've got frozen shrimp in your uh, freezer or other kind of meats as well. You can have chicken or you can have pork. Just roast those and slice those up and put them in there as well. Bottom line is do some experimenting. You probably have some things in your pantry you don't even realize are there. So go in there and take a look around and try to find some things and do some things you haven't done in a while. Anyway, take care of yourself everybody. Listen to what the city and state is telling us all to do because it's for our safety and everyone else's. Be well.